Okay, so first of all, we're not going to calculate the area yet. That's coming soon. But these questions don't tell us necessarily what we need to do um, when we're trying to pick out uh, which of the law of sines and the law of cosines to use. So these are my kind of little notes that I'm going to write up here to the side. Uh, for law of sines, the number one thing is if you if you know an angle and a side that are opposite each other, that is usually a dead giveaway. It's the law of sines. So basically, what I'm saying here is if you got a triangle, you do your highlighting. You're like yellow, yellow, blue, blue, green, green. And let's say you knew that this was 4 and this was 27. You know a side and angle that's opposite each other. That's almost always a dead giveaway that it's a law of sine problem. All right. And then for law of cosines, there's two things to look for. All right. Number one, if you know a side and then an angle, and then a side, all right, that's always a dead giveaway. Or if you know all three sides, that's usually another one that's a pretty good giveaway. So for the first one, what I mean is that say you know that this is 27, this is 50, and this is 30. Okay, so you know a side, and then you know the angle, and then you know the other side. That's almost always a law of sines problem. And then the other one is if you know all three sides, whoops, let me draw that. You know all three sides so like this is 26 this is 32 and this is 40 all right that's almost definitely a law of sines too because i'm going to need an angle and i don't know any angles at all okay i i think i said law of sines that's a law of cosines all right because i don't know any angles and in the law of sines i'm always going to have to know an angle so just kind of a couple general things as you're working on through the bottom line is if you take a formula law of sines or law of cosines and try to plug the numbers in and you notice that uh, you have two things missing in there, so you'd have two different x's, that's a dead giveaway, it's the wrong one. All right, I've said dead giveaway about 50 times during this video, so um, I'm trying to not use that anymore.